Hello, 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 my friends. This is Miss Jerome Severe again. Um, coming to read another story, and the story is called The Gingerbread Man. The Gingerbread Man. So, um, there's a different kind of story of the gingerbread man. So, I hope you get to enjoy it. And then I'm going to ask you a couple questions after I'm done. So, please pay attention so you are able to know what the story is about. The gingerbread man. Okay, it has all the A Y sound. The gingerbread man. So you might see some of these words in A Y. Okay, so parents, c'est mes chers qui viennent pour lire une histoire avec Timonio. So let um. So by one chance for you tell the story. So this is Mr. Jerome coming to read a story for your kids. So please let them enjoy the story. Okay, so let's get started. This is the front of the book. This is the back of the book. Okay, this is the name of the story. The Gingerbread Man. <laughs> the Gingerbread Man. That's the name of the story. So, um, this one, um, it's a, it has, it's a phonics book. So, um, the author name is Nick Page. He writes the story. He takes all of the alphabets and he put them and then he writes the story. It, it, illustrated by, illustrated means the person that draw the picture. The person that draw the picture. That's the illustrated mean the person take crayons and markers and draw the pictures. So illustrated by Claire. So Claire is the person that draw the picture. I am sorry if my camera is going bling bling bling. I don't know maybe because my ceiling fan is on so it's doing that. So I am sorry about that. There was there was a there was a crazy old baker and a crazy old baker's wife. And one day they made a gingerbread man who amazingly came to life. The name the name that they gave him was Gingerbread Fred. And they said, don't you wander away, Fred. You are not a real boy. You are a pastry. Like the ones they serve in the coffee, in the cafe or in the coffee shop. So this is the crazy wife and the crazy baker. They made a gingerbread boy. And then when he came out the oven, he was real. They're like, whoa, whoa, where did you come from? And they told him, no wandering around because you're not real. You, you're like a cookie. So if, you, if you, you're like a cookie, you're not real. But before they could say cake and bagels, Fred wouldn't obey. He ran off to play. And the gingerbread Fred said, run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. Ah! The gingerbread man. So before they could stop him, he ran off. What did he do? He ran off. Not listening, not obeying. So he ran off. Look at their face. Look at their face. They're like, <gasps> what did they say? <gasps> that child. He made his way, he made his way into the playground where Cat laid asleep by the gate. Oh, meow, said the cat. Here comes breakfast. I wonder how long it would take. I, lo I wonder how long I should wait for breakfast. Really, it doesn't take that long. Before you could sit cake and bagels, Fred didn't delay, but he ran on his way and said, so this is the cat laying down waiting for his breakfast because breakfast was taking too long. And what do you think? Where did he find the cat? Yes, at the playground. Look at the, uh, look at the cat. One eye open, one eye closed. He's like, hmm. I have my eye on you, baby. 
And before he could say bagel and cakes, the gingerbread man said, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. What did the gingerbread man say? Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. So we have the, the baker, his wife, and the cat. They're all chasing food. That crazy gingerbread boy. That crazy gingerbread boy. Hmm. Next, the gingerbread, next, gingerbread Fred reached to a farm yard where there was a dog lay asleep in the hay. Ow, ow, boo, said the dog. Ow, boo, said the dog. Must be lunchtime. It's gingerbread cake. Take away bow, 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 bow. But before he could, before you could say cake and bagels, Fred would remain. But the race down the lane, gingerbread man said, "What? What is he gonna say?" So this is the dog. He thinks it's. Lunchtime, but it's not lunchtime. He thinks it's lunchtime, and then he's ready to eat the gingerbread. He say he's ready to eat gingerbread. It's gingerbread cake. Oh, it's gingerbread cake. Woo 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 woo. woo. But the gingerbread ran away, and the gingerbread man said. Run, 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 as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. So who's running after him now? Let's see. We have the wife. We have the husband. We have the dog. And then don't forget the cat. Who you think? Who you think is going to catch him? Okay. Then the gingerbread Fred reached to a lake. You know what a lake is? Somewhere that has water. Raise your hand if you have a lake by your house. I have a big one by my house. It's huge. It's a huge lake. So he got to the lake side. Good day, said the fox by the bay. Need my aid? Said the fox. I can take you. You can ride on my back just one way, just one way. And before you could say cake and bagels and, and bagels and cake, Fred was persuade. Persuade mean that the that the fox managed to make him believe he's gonna take him from one side of the lake to the other side of the lake. Persuade mean have you ever you have you ever want cookies from mommy? And then, and then mommy said, no cookies, no, no, no. You say, but mommy, if I do my, if I fix my room, can I have it? And then she said, hmm, okay. So guess what you just did? You persuade your mommy to let you eat the cookies after you clean your room. So the fox persuade the, the gingerbread man to get on his back to get to the other side of the lake. You think he's gonna do it? Hmm. You can ride on my back just one way. And before you could say cake and bagels, Fred was persuaded and in the fox and and in the fox waited and the gingerbread man said So the so the fox is sitting in the lake. The gingerbread man, why can't the gingerbread man get in the water? That's right. He's gonna get crumbled up. So if he gets so, he's gonna follow the fox. And then the gingerbread man say, "Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man." As you can see, he's on the fox back. The 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 the, the dog is in the water. The dog is in the water, but the others, are they in the water? No. So who do you think he's saying, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. Who's who's behind him? 
who's running after him. That's right, the dog. The dog is very persistent. What does persistent mean? Persistent mean you, you always, you don't give up. What does persistent mean? You don't give up. Like for example, if your teacher asks you to write your letter A and you write it a little sloppy and she say fix it and you try and the more you write, the more you write, the better you get. So you are persistent. Persistent means you don't give up. And the fox say, may I make a suggestion? Hmm. Suggestion means he has an idea. Hmm. So if you were the fox, what kind of suggestion would you say to the gingerbread man that's sitting on your back and he smells delicious? And he's getting and they're in the water. So what suggestion would you have for a gingerbread man? May I make a suggestion, gingerbread boy, as they made their way over the bed? If you stay on my nose, oh, you'll be much drier. If you stay on my nose. So that's me. He wants a gingerbread man to sit on his nose. First on his back, now on his nose. And avoid all that splashing and spraying. So he tell him to get on his nose so he don't get splashed or wet. Hmm. So how would you describe the fox? How would you describe the fox? Hmm, I think he's very sneaky. What do you think? I think the fox is very smart. He's sneaky because he, he tricked the gingerbread man. He's smart. Because now he convinced him to get on his nose. Hmm. If he gets on his nose, what do you think he's going to do? <gasps> Maybe he's going to share a hamburger with him. Or maybe he'll have him for dessert. <laughs> Let's see. Quite soon they were over the water and Fred said, Good day! Thanks again. Oh, wow. They made it on the other side. And the gingerbread men say, good day. See you on the other, say, good day. And thanks again for giving me a ride. Oh, no, 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 not so fast, say the fox. I have a brain wave. Would you like to fly? Just like an airplane? What is a big brain wave? So he told the he told the gingerbread man, can you do what? Would you like to fly like an airplane? Hmm. How would you describe the fox? Friendly? What makes him friendly? Oh, you think he asked him to play? Oh. Sneaky, maybe, I wanna show you. So this is, we're on this page. So this is the fox, this is the gingerbread man. See, on his nose and the gingerbread man say, well, good day, thank you for getting me across. He said, wait a minute, would you like to fly like an airplane? And then he flipped the gingerbread man up Oh, the gingerbread man is flying. Is he really flying? Is it, does he look like he's flying? Does he look like he's flying like an airplane? That little stinker. And before you could say bagel and cakes with a cry and a wahee, Fred flew away. And the gingerbread men say, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. Ah! Crunch, 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 munch, crunch. He, the fox, ate the gingerbread men for lunch. And the gingerbread Fred said, 
nothing again ever ever again and the and the fox ma the fox went crunch munch scrunch mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was the end of Fred, the gingerbread man. Gingerbread man Fred. So now I have a question for you. So now, what I want to ask you is, who, what did the old woman and the old man made? The man and the wife. What did they make? Raise your hand. Yes, they made a gingerbread man. And what did they tell the gingerbread man? That's right. He is not real. Don't go wandering around. So here's my question. Who was the first person the gingerbread man ran away from? The cat? Oh, no. It wasn't the cat. It was... The gingerbread man, the, gin, the, the the baker and his wife. Okay, who did he meet? You see, he ran away from the baker and his wife. Who did he meet after he ran out the house? He met with the, that's right, he met with the cat outside in the zoo. No, the playground. I was just seeing if you were paying attention. Okay, then after that, who did he meet after the cat? He met the, oh, sorry, he ran away from the cat. Then he met the dog who thought he was going to have lunch. Then after he ran away from the dog, who did he meet? Oh, he met who? Fox. The fox. And what one word would you describe the fox? He's very sneaky. Mm, that's a good one. Clever? Did you say clever? Wow, amazing. Did you say friendly? He was pretending to be friendly. Uh, would you say the fox was amazing? Yeah, because he tricked him. All right. So, what was the fox a good friend? He said he would get him across the water. He did. So, why do you think so? Why do you think he... Why do you think he tricked him? You think he was hungry? But why did he why didn't he eat him when he was by the lake? Mmm, very good. Maybe he didn't want to share him. Maybe the fox didn't want to share him. So he took him to the other side of the lake to have him all to himself. Very good. Very good. So what kind of story is this? Is this a real story or a fake story? Yes, it's a fake story because dogs don't talk. Cats don't talk. Fox don't talk. And a fake boy or a fake gingerbread man should not be talking. Yes. Yes, so I hope you like this story. Let me see if I have another question for you. Oh, where was the story? Where did the story take place? Where was the setting? It was first in the house, then they went outside, then, yes, they went different places. Then it, it went in the water, yes. That's the setting. Who was in the story? Let's see if you remember who was in the story. There was a, yeah, there was a cat. Yep, there was a dog. There was a baker and a wife, yeah. Mm, I might, did I see the dog? 
There was a fox, Sleeky Fox. And let's not forget about the gingerbread man. And there was a gingerbread man. And last question. Who tricked the gingerbread man? Who tricked him? Huh? Who tricked him? Yeah, that red fox tricked him. Yes. And how did he trick him? He convinced him to do what? First get on his, oh no, not his nose. First get on his back. Then to avoid getting splash, splash and wet, he convinced him to do what? Get on his nose. And then when he noticed the gingerbread man was really smart and slick, he told the gingerbread man, do you want to fly? Did he really want to teach the gingerbread man how to fly? No, because he kicked his head up and opened his mouth. And guess what happened? He ate the gingerbread man. And that's the end of the story. I hope you had fun. Hey, my first graders, I know you guys are watching. So enjoy the story. I'll, I'll see you next time. This is Miss Jerome Severe. A bientôt. This is Miss Jerome. So I say Miss Jerome Severe. See you later. Bye.